Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create creature behavior. Well, firstly, we uh, create a detection. That means when our creature see an enemy, then our creature will chase that enemy. Then, when in range, our creature will jump onto that enemy, dealing damage. Then after that enemy is defeated, the, our creature will simply return to the player and follow the player. Let's create the number one first, which is when our creature see enemy. For this, I'll use a simple detection to inject the RPG Maker Action Combat Manual to see all the detection type. I'll choose this green idea type. So to make that happen, we simply use this conditional branch. So I'm going to create a conditional branch paste that in, check range for event ID, that would be this event ID then the range I choose like 6 for node tag let's write enemy the rest can be deleted what this does is when our creature within 6 tiles and if it sees an event with no tag enemy then it will return true otherwise it's return false now let's move on to step 2 which is when creatures see the enemy it will chase the enemy and then when in certain range the our creature will jump onto the enemy to do that we first create a set movement rule we use move to position of an event with no tag enemy. But this only moves by one tile. So how do we move it until it reach a certain distance compared to the enemy? Let's say I want our creature to jump onto the enemy. When our creature is near the enemy by three tiles. So I'm gonna create another conditional check and make it free and move the move to position to else so what this does is when our creature is within 6 tiles of the enemy you then have another conditional check to see if it's within 3 tiles if not you it will move to the enemy but this conditional branch only do it once so we need to loop it until it reach three tiles so let's put this to a loop loop drag this into a loop and that's it now I'm gonna add a break loop here what this does is when our creature is within 6 tiles of the enemy you start a loop to check if it's near the enemy by 3 tiles and if it's not you keep moving to the enemy and if it is you break the loop so that is the step 2 now we need to do creature jump onto the enemy deal damage so here after breaking the loop, we are certain that our creature is near the enemy. All we need to do now is make it jump onto the enemy. We do that by using jump to enemy. Also, skip if cannot move. This will also need to check skip if cannot move. Now we need to create a hitbox. We can do that by using command create dynamic event in here I'm gonna write a note tag like hmm, damage hitbox and then set a damage for this is like 50 to 30 and this event will last 3 frames so after doing damage we'll make our event to jump backward by 3 tiles Then I'll have it wait like 80 frames before continue doing the next action and pretty much that's it. For each enemy, you have to have 
a traditional branch called check life. What it does is you check collision between the event calling this common ID with any event that has no tag damage hitbox. And let's ignore all of this. You, you only need to pay attention to this command which is increase decrease enemy HP. And in HP change, I'll write minus damage. What it does, it basically uses the value of no attack damage. So in here, it's 15, right? So it will understand as 15. Okay, let's test again. As you can see, our monster has jumped onto the enemy. So, after the enemy has been destroyed, we kind of want our monster to come along with us. So, if there's no enemy within 6 tiles of this event, our creature, we have it to move to position player. Let's test that. As you can see, the our creature is moving toward us. But it's kind of near and it's real. Like, Every time we move, it just keep moving toward us and it kind of block your way. So, to avoid that, we add another conditional branch. We use check rain, this event ID, 3, and the target is player. So this means that if the player is within 3 tiles of this event, then it will not move. But if the player is outside that range, then it will move toward the player. There you go. If there's no enemy nearby, then you move toward us. And it will only move toward us if we are outside 3 tires. If we are still inside that range, then it will not move. So that's it for enemy behavior. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So in the next part, I'll do the capturing enemy. So, so see you then.